Let's calculate experience in Dungeons & Dragons 3.5. Hey everybody, it's Mitch, and welcome to another video. Today, as I said, we are going to be calculating experience in Dungeons & Dragons 3.5, or at least learning how to calculate experience in D&D 3.5. So let's jump into it. So, as you can see, we will be calculating experience in Dungeons & Dragons 3.5. First off, we have our table of contents. We have the DMG table 2-6, challenge rating, character level, cohorts, multi-class penalty, and putting it all together. Now first off we have the table 2-6, uh, you can see it here, or at least first half. Uh, a little scrunched at the end, but uh, it is a photo I took, so only so much you can do. Um, but it is page 38 of the Dungeon Master's Guide. If you can see, there are these little stars here. Those are for encounters that are too weak. So you have your level, you have the challenge rating, and these ones, you know, your 20th level going up against a CR1, that's way too easy. So these are things where typically you're not going to be getting really much of any experience because, well, it's just too easy. So there's that. And encounters too strong, they're not on this part of the table. We'll see that later and we'll talk about that. And then there's also the bold numbers. These bold numbers are CR appropriate. And basically they all follow a very predictable pattern of just 300 times your level. Challenge rating. Basically, what you're going to do is you're going to need to look at what the CR for the enemies you're fighting are. You can calculate individual uh, CRs per enemy. That could be the easiest way to do it, as is listed here. But if you want to do just a total encounter CR, how you do that is a bit complicated. So typically you start with the lowest and say you have like four CR2s, you would say, okay, four CR2s, that's the same as a uh, two CR4s. Because what you do is you divide the number of them by two and then add two to it. So if there were a hundred CR3s, that'd be the same as 50 CR5s. So you just kind of calculate it that way. And so then as you move up and up the chart, you'll start to see that things will start getting added together and added in. And eventually you'll get to a single number. Going up one level is about 1.5. The difference between like a two and a three, it's about 1.5 times as many enemies. So you, you, you kind of got to rough it a little bit, but that's more or less the formula. If you want something exact though, just do the individual one. It's way easier. Now, then you got to figure out your character level. That's going to be done per player. You check the table to calculate it and you divide by the number of players and do not count the cohorts. The cohorts don't count. And well, if you want to figure out the character's level, well, that's generally fairly easy. It's going to go by their ECL, Effective Character Level, which is the whole thing, but yeah. So cohorts, that's going to be based off the player's experience. So what you're going to do is you're going to figure out what the experience that the player got. So somebody has a cohort. So we'll say that they're level six and that they got 600 experience. So you would divide by their level, which is six, and then you multiply it by the cohort level, which is going to be four, maybe less. So we'll say four. And then the cohort will have gotten 400 experience for the player 600. So that's really all there is to that. It's pretty simple. Another simple method that you could also do is just have the cohort level up when the player does. This method will have it work out to that. Now there's multi-class penalties. Multi-class penalties are very much a thing. Something that you're likely going to be avoiding. Players tend to avoid these like the plague and sometimes DMs don't impose them. But if you are imposing them and your player does take them, it's going to be a 20% experience penalty per class. So basically if you have three classes, so say you have one class that's level five and you have two classes that are level one, that's going to be a 40% experience penalty. That's pretty big. So you're only going to be getting 60% of the experience. That's a lot. They have to be two or more levels different. Favorite classes don't count. Prestige classes don't count. Players go out of their way to avoid this. But yeah, it, it can be a lot. And then of course, putting it all together, as I said, here's the other half of that table and you have the double stars. These are encounters that are too hard. You know, your first level, you don't want to be going up against a CR 11. That's insane. You know, or a CR 20. Again, it's a little cut off, but 
Again, it's a photograph. It's all basically the same. Bold numbers are still representing the same thing. Those are still same challenge. So you can see all of this. Again, it's still the same page number, all that fun stuff. So as we said, put it all together, calculate CR, then you calculate the level, then you consult the table here, then you divide by the party size and factor in multi-class penalty. And if you have a cohort, you follow that little formula. So that's really all there is to it for calculating experience. So that's really all there is. But uh, if you enjoyed the video, consider giving it a like. Maybe subscribe to the channel for more D&D 3.5 content. And down in the description, there is a link to my Discord as well as to my Twitch, which I do sometimes stream on. It's been a while, but I plan to start streaming there again shortly, hopefully. But anyways, as always, I'm Mitch. I'll be seeing ya.